Welcome to Introduction to Mass Transfer Operations course prepared by Chemical Engineering Guy. And let's dive directly on what is the content of the course. I tried to structure the course into the most logical way, or at least the most logical approach towards the understanding of all the process separations or separation processes, technologies, and mass transfer operations. Now, what we're going to cover in the introduction is why I created this course, why and how there are uh, processes on separation technologies and mass transfer operations, several unit operations related to that, and more importantly, how they are structured. Then we continue with section number two, an overview of the separation processes, how do they work, how they are classified, and talking about classification, you can see how section three all the way to eight are nothing more than uh, separation processes. They will include, of course, uh, some unit operations. We're going to cover that later on, make no worries. Talking about the classifications, I selected the following classification, which is based typically on the type of methodology. For instance, section number three is separation by phase creation or phase addition. What we're going to do is work with phases and try to separate the mixture. For instance, phase creation, we have a concentration, let's say it's sea salt. We have water and salt. We will create a phase by adding heat and that phase will be vapor. So what we're doing here is a concentration or if we evaporate all the water, we will get all the salt as a solid material and we can further eliminate the vapor or condense it. That will be a great separation. That's talking about phase separation. Phase addition, if you know liquid extraction, we have substance A and B. And what we will do is add substance C, which is the phase addition. And we assume that C and A will not mix, but B can mix between C and A. That's the interesting part. Ideally, we want B to go all the way to C without mixing in A. That's liquid-liquid extraction. We're going to see that process as well. Separation by barrier. There are plenty of membrane processes. Common processes are reverse osmosis. Talking about the sea salt. Well, in, there are some places in which they don't have that much drinking water. So what they do is they have this, let's say, membrane. They add pressure to the sea salt and they get drinking water because all the ions, all the salts are here. So that's how they separate water or let's say the ionic forces, ions, salts, etc., particulates and the water. Solid agent addition can be adsorption. We're going to cover that process later on. We also have section six, which is separation by external force or gradient. This can be done either by centrifugation, sedimentation will be one example, which uses external force, which is gravity, decantation, and so on. Section seven will be separations involving solids. My personal opinion, phase creation and phase addition have a lot of processes. So what I did is took all the solid ones and added them here. For instance, leaching. So you have a solid material, you add a liquid, the solid will dissolve in the liquid and then you remove the liquid. You have your liquid with the material of interest and then you perform the separation. And then finally, I separated mechanical and physical separations, which typically do not involve mass transfer operations per se. Rather, these are more into mechanical or physical processes. For instance, filtration, which you know it's about the particle size. So you separate the sizes here, the particulates, and the liquid remains here. Then we will see something related to factors, fractions, split recoveries, all the interesting things on separation processes. Uh, for instance, if you want to uh, recover a 99% or if you want to know what's the split factor or the coefficient for the extraction and so on. A lot of interesting definitions will come here. And then we make a conclusion on the course. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Here are the extended uh, contents. I will be posting these on the lecture. 
but here are the several processes we're going to cover. For instance, distillation, gas absorption, liquid extraction, membranes, ion exchange, chromatography, centrifugation, electrophoresis, leaching, drying, and a lot of solid handling.